Defeating Soldier of Jets is not so hard, unless you all get double drilled. <laughs> In today's episode, I'm going to help you to defeat Soldier Spy and Soldier Jet, as well as I will show you where you can find a ball mold that's needed to be used on Heisenberg's Labyrinth. Hello there. My name is Hans Jackson, I'm going to guide you through all of that. Let me know in the comments down below which of these three bosses we already killed was the hardest one in your opinion. Let's get back to the game. Uh, but I was a little bit hungover and <laughs> I left for the party and when I came back I was like still drunk, half drunk, half hungover and yeah, I don't know, it was like three days later I assume, three or four days later so we've been drinking and partying for three, four days straight and then I came back and I was getting sober for a wee while, like one day, two days of hangover. And when I was saying I'm not gonna drink again, yeah, I was lying to myself. <laughs> and my friends already knew that it was a lie. Because like two days after the party, I was like, okay, let's get that shit started, yes, and another party! So yeah, I spent like six months going from party to party, like literally destroying my body and my health without getting sober, properly sober, you know. I didn't get alcohol from my system for that six months, which was crazy, and then I barely changed that when I was back in Poland, but that's another story. But yeah, that was a funny time. I met tons and tons and tons of people from all around the world. I still keep in touch with them, with most of them, and but I haven't seen anyone from these people in a long time but yeah when I will be traveling to new places where they live I will simply contact them oh no you double drilled me oh no and I will stay I will try to contact them and set up a meeting I mean there is one of my friends I met at the Erasmus and his name's Thomas and he's from Czech Republic. I was supposed to go to Prague last year, I mean this this year or last year, I don't remember. And I was texting him about it and we set up a meeting, but that trip has been cancelled so I didn't meet him. But hopefully in the future oh shit. Um hopefully in the future I will be able to meet with them. I'll keep my fingers crossed for that, because he's a good guy, I liked him, and it would be nice to see each other again after so many years, uh, but yeah, you know, it is what it is, it's like adulting again, no, I'm not giving you another life advice, because f*** it, right, what the f*** am I supposed to say? you to do anything about your life see me i'm sitting still with broken glasses and i don't give a f anymore and in my services please come take a look thank you dude if it's just look, show me what you got away. okay let's carry on let's go up up the ladder and we will see what what will happen then so yeah I've told you a lot of stories from Erasmus Student Exchange. Um, that's just that story just scratched the surface a little bit, you know. I don't even remember half of the things were ha that were happening there. <laughs> well, are you surprised that I don't remember that, guys? I've been drunk most of the time, so how the f would I remember everything from that time, right? All I can say is that I had a hell of a lot of fun. 
a hell of a lot of fun! So yeah, that's one of one more interesting story you didn't know about me yet. I mean, most of you didn't know because if Adam, if you're watching this, you knew these stories. At least I know that at some point I've told you that these stories. Or if my brother is watching this, he definitely knows that stories because. He was there with me for some of the parties when we were playing beer pong and stuff like that. Yeah, and we went for some trips together because my family visited me for like a week when I was in Spain or 10 days, under, I don't remember, but it was something like that, something along those lines, 7 to 10 days. It was so nice because I didn't visit Poland at all when I was in Spain for this six months. So, you know, it's good to see your family once in a while. But it, I have to admit, it was like a good school of life. Like adulting, let's say. Because, um, because of that experience back in Spain, I was able to get ready for what's coming next, you know, like right now. I live in Scotland for like almost three years now and it was much easier to get used to the idea of living in another country when your family is like uh, 1500, 1600 kilometers away and you can't simply visit them whenever you want. I'm trying to go to Poland to spend some time with my family as often as I can, but sometimes, well, life is just simply coming in the way. So, yeah, you know. I guess, let me know in the comments below how many of you guys are leaving away from your family probably in a different country or on a different side of your country. Let me know in the comments. I'm curious about it. How many of you... Oh no! No! Run! Before he will drill me! No! Uh, why the hell? My ass cheeks always clench whenever I'm saying about drilling. I don't know, and probably I shouldn't have known, but I feel so much gay! No! He approached me from behind! What a fucking gay party! Sausage party, yes! Ugly fucking son Oh, yeah. I loved it. Am I still alive, though? How? How is that even possible when they drilled me? Dub they did drop double drilling, and I'm still alive. Oh my god, yes, I've escaped those son of a bitch. Whew. That was an ugly thing to do. Now I can say I feel like a saw. Wait a minute. I shouldn't have said that probably. But yeah, this drilling makes me think weird thoughts. So yeah, you know. I mean, don't get me wrong, I never experienced anything with my... Uh, I've never I don't have any experience with the same sex, if you know what I mean. I mean, I was always straight, so I've never tried anything with another male. 
and simply I don't think I will ever try it. So, you know. But this conversation is going the weird direction. So I will simply pretend I didn't say anything and I will change the topic from the drilling to, I don't know, something else basically. Okay, we have to go up there, but we have to stop of this fan first. So yeah, you know. I'm pretending like that conversation never happened, so it is a bit awkward. But yeah, whatever. It's a topic like any other. Yeah. If you're enjoying this video so far, remember to smash the like button and subscribe the channel as well and thank you very much for doing that because of that like this video will spread to other people and I will be helpful I will be able to entertain more of you guys okay let's carry on I hope my flatmates will not be doing a lot of noise today and yeah as I mentioned in one of the videos I don't even remember if that was on live stream or if that was on okay we have a document here i will read that for you a soldat enhancement a soldat jet attached a jetpack and head stabilizers to a soldat great impulse mobility experiments prove limited flight capabilities no long distance flight but now possible to navigate wrecked terrain soldat enhancement soldat panther attached aluminium alloy shielding to a soldat to protect chest reactor and exposed flesh experimentation proves he is invincible against against regular firearms. Armor doesn't hold up against strong blast. Further development needed. Okay, so it's go I'm having like a super extreme World War II vibe here. Yeah, Panzers, Jets, I mean, no, they didn't have Jets during World War II, did they? I don't remember, I wasn't very good at history classes but yeah these panthers are reminding me of the second world war okay we have a ball mold so we can now mold the ball <laughs> oh my god yeah, that was a weird joke, just ignore it. If that's not making you laugh, just ignore it, because, well, that's just me being me, me, and I'm proud of myself being a weird dude. Oh no! At least we are still in one piece. Are we? Yes, we are. Oof. Oof. Shit. That was close. If that was me lying there, I would definitely shit myself. Like seriously, if you had a fan flying over you like this one, just flew, I would literally shit myself. I'm glad, I'm super glad it wasn't me in real life. But yeah, you know. How would you react to it if that was you? Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, where the f am I supposed to go now? Wait. There should be some kind of a ladder, I guess. Oh no, pipes. Because of all of that steam, I didn't see where the f am I supposed to go. Okay, let's use the ladder here. See, it's not my first playthrough and I'm still getting lost in this game, sometimes. I mean, it would be strange if I knew everything by heart by just simply playing it once or twice. 
I mean, yeah, I do the speedrun attempt. We are like through half of the game, I think. And yeah, I'm doing that speedrun playthrough, but still. Let me know in the comments below if you were able to find the ball mold in order to use it in the Heisenberg's Labyrinth. I hope this video helped you. If that's the case, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next episode. See ya!